Hey everybody, it's Emeka here from Driven Hard. I had a company that reached out to me and they sent me a product that's gonna turn your top screen into a multimedia, multimedia system where you can watch Netflix, uh, YouTube, and some other cool things with it. And it's plug and play that even somebody myself, not tech savvy at all, can figure it out and make it work. So that's coming up in today's video. All right, hey, if you're new to the channel, my name's Emeka. This is my 2019 Range Rover Sport, and yes, she is driven hard today. No driving hard, but we are going to be focusing on the infotainment system and how you can get a little bit more enjoyment out of it, especially if you have some kids. So, um, this is an unboxing. I have this one car stereo uh, AI box light, and uh, you can check it out. I'll open it up with you here. Uh, you have like your instructions. You get the, um, the this little device right here. Okay. Um, of course, a card, uh, a cord, and uh, you also have an adapter uh, if you need that as well. And let me show you exactly how it works. So, what you're gonna do? Let's get some power here. First, you're going to plug in the USB-C into the little AI box light. Okay, we'll just call it the black box. Then you take your USB and you plug it into where you would normally plug your uh, your Android or your Apple device in order to access your 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 CarPlay. And so I'm going to plug that in here, like so. And then you see you get some power lights here. Then here's what you do: you simply go into your Apple CarPlay and the system's going to think it's like an Apple CarPlay device. All right. And so this is what the device looks like. So right off the bat, you're going to want to do a couple things. One, you're going to want to um, connect your phone, which I'm recording over on camera one with, um, to its to the Bluetooth on here. So very simple. You simply look for the device's name in your, on the Bluetooth on your phone. You connect with that. Very simple. So it's connecting to iPhone right now. And then the second thing I did was you're going to uh, connect the Wi-Fi. So this has its own ability to connect to a Wi-Fi. Um, either you can do the mobile hotspot from your phone, uh, like I believe that's how it's set up right now, or you can do the Wi-Fi in your home or whatever. So um, this device is gonna be connected to all of that. All right, so once the device is in, you're gonna get like a setup screen like this. Now, in order to get the Wi-Fi set up, all you're gonna do is you're gonna simply click on the Wi-Fi symbol, pick the, the network that you want to connect to. Right now, I'm on my cell phone, um, and so I'm using the Wi-Fi from my phone, but uh, the, it's pretty straightforward. And, oops, I turned that off. Excellent. And I actually find the interface for some of the stuff is actually easier on this box than it is on the, the, the car's natural interface, which is not surprising, but... Um, okay. Oh yeah. And that, these weird little symbols there, that's kind of like your default go back button, home button and stuff like that. Um, so then you have a list of different apps you can use. We have Netflix, we have YouTube. Um, I have sent them an email to see if you can actually download some other cool apps, um, that you might want on here as well. So I'll do a pinned comment on this video with that information when I hear back from them, as well as a list of vehicles and manufacturers that this is compatible with. So right now I just know it's good for this one. Um, so if we take a look, uh, if we can go to YouTube here, the Driven Hard channel, to kind of give you an idea of the quality of what it's gonna be like, um, keep in mind this is, all right, here it is. But it looks pretty good. Like it looks pretty good. And um, you know, I wonder, can I, can I play while I'm in drive? Is it gonna let me play while I'm in drive? Let's check that out, huh? We'll just hit, hit this random video. Oh yeah, look at that, right? I'm in drive, my door's open. So that's cool. So it overrides all safety systems and, and whatnot and allows you to just, um, I've totally lost it now. It allows you to watch stuff while you're driving down the road, which I'm not for. I do not recommend that at all, but uh, essentially you'd be able to do that, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, 
this is really neat, guys. This is neat. As I find out more about how to use this and what else it can do, maybe I'll do a slightly more in-depth video. But uh, I will have a link. It's obviously an affiliate, affiliate link. Brother needs to eat, feed his kids. Um, so that'll be down in the description as well as the pinned comment if you want to go check this out. But uh, super impressed. I think we're picking up the kids right now from art class. So I'm going to get some Super Mario play on the car right now. And I bet they are going to lose their freaking minds. So anyways, let me know what you guys think of this. Are there any other manufacturers that make cool stuff like this too that I should be checking out? But uh, yeah, as always, everybody, I'm a Mecca. Let me know what you are driving hard. Drive around and watch Mario. And we're on our way. 